Dr. Jean Watson's Theory of Human Caring. To understand the concept of nursing theory, we must first possess a basic understanding of what a theory actually is. A theory is a group of ideas or beliefs typically based on general principles that aid in developing an understanding of or providing justification for a course of action. It is a supposition based on current knowledge that drives an idea about future possibilities. Now that we understand the basics of a theory, we can now apply it to the nursing profession. Simply stated, nursing theory is the organization of generally accepted ideas and beliefs related to nursing practice, and it provides the framework of nursing concepts that aid in guiding that practice. Nursing theory first emerged during the late 1800s when a strong emphasis was placed on nursing education. It was developed as a means to explain, describe, and give purpose to nursing practice, as well as provide the groundwork for clinical decision making. So who develops nursing theory? Most often it is created by nurses, though at times physicians and other disciplines of the healthcare team are able to contribute beneficial information and insight in the development of nursing theory. Some theories are developed by a single nurse, while others are created through a collaborative nursing effort. Both are a sign that nurses are owning their own practice and working to guide their profession instead of having their practice dictated to them. The process of developing nursing theory is done by combining academic and clinical experiences and expertise and helps define nursing care and nursing practice. There are a few different types of theories, grand, middle range, and nursing practice theories. Grand theory provides a broad notion of what nursing practice is or should be. Middle range theories are more focused and create connections between grand theories and the actual practice of nursing. While nursing practice theories are more narrow, than both the middle range or grand theories and are used to guide specific nursing practice. Nursing theory is utilized in day-to-day -day practice and thus the two become intertwined. Because each nurse and patient interaction is unique, nurses routinely incorporate multiple nursing theories into their practice, matching the best nursing theory to the specific situation. The framework provided by nursing theories aids in guiding the nurse's critical thought process, perpetuates critical analysis of the situation and lays the foundation for implementation of optimal nursing care. Thus, patient care, outcomes, and communication are improved with the incorporation of nursing theory into practice. To this end, many aspects of nursing and patient care have been impacted by nursing theory, and its influence has forever changed the way in which nurses are educated and trained. It has contributed to improvements in patient care and outcomes, and while the fundamentals of nursing must be observed, Nursing theory must continually evolve to remain relevant to current nursing practice. Dr. Jean Watson's theory of human caring is one example of nursing theory. She states, we are the light in institutional darkness and in the model we get to return the light of our humanity. Dr. Jean Watson was born on June 1, 1940. She is an American nurse theorist and nursing professor. She was the youngest of eight children, born in Welsh, West Virginia, where she lived until she went to college. She attended nursing school in Roanoke, Virginia, and graduated in 1961. After graduation, she married her husband and moved to Colorado. She obtained her Bachelor's of Nursing in 1964 and her Master's two years later in 1966. By 1973, she had obtained her Ph.D. in Education, Psychiatrics, and Counseling, and in 2005, she earned her Doctorate in Nursing Practice. In addition to furthering her education, she and her colleagues established the Center for Human Caring at the University of Colorado. After holding numerous positions at the School of Nursing in Colorado and obtaining her doctor in nursing practice, she took a sabbatical. After a walking pilgrimage in Spanish El Camino, Dr. Watson created the Watson Caring Science Institute, where she continued to further her work of caring. Unfortunately, in 1997 and 1998, she was faced with personal devastation and suffering. She lost sight in her left eye from a golfing accident and soon after her husband passed away. This led her to integrate her loss and recovery into her life's work. Dr. Watson believed that caring was the essence of nursing practice. Without caring, the nurse is incapable of providing an atmosphere conducive to healing. By incorporating her 10 clinical characters and finding caring moments to share with the patient, we began to develop transpersonal caring relationships that foster healing and health. Dr. Watson promotes a transpersonal caring relationship. 
in which the nurse has a moral commitment to protect and enhance human dignity. They respect and love, honoring the patient's needs, wishes, routines, and rituals, and they possess a caring consciousness of self as a person, a nurse, and of others. Additionally, they promote a practice based in caring and honoring wholeness of mind, body, and spirit in self and each other, as well as strive for inner harmony and authentic presence so that they may be truly connected to the patient for whom they care. She also notes that with each nurse-patient interaction, there is the opportunity to incorporate caring moments. This is, in essence, the opportunity to be authentic while making intentional connections sharing meaningful human experiences, honoring the patient and your connectedness, and allowing the human spirit to lead to new discoveries, all while keeping the interaction heart-centered. As part of Dr. Watson's caring and healing consciousness, one must gain understanding of self through reflection and meditation to understand the act of caring. Through self-examination, one must ask their self, what is the meaning of caring for the person, their family, and myself? How do I express caring consciousness and commitment? How do I define self, nurse, person, environment, health and healing, and nursing as a practice? How do I make a difference in the person's life? And how do I make a difference during times of suffering? Dr. Watson has developed 10 caring needs or specific carative factors essential to the caring human experience that must be addressed by nurses while in the role of caring for their patients. The ten carative factors are, one, forming humanistic, altruistic value systems, two, instilling faith and hope, three, cultivating a sensitivity to self and others, four, developing a helping and trusting relationship, five, being present to and supportive of the expression of both positive and negative feelings, six, creatively using self and all ways of knowing as part of the caring process engaging in artistry of caring healing practices and using problem solving for decision making. Seven, promoting teaching and learning. Eight, promoting a supportive environment. Nine, assisting with gratification of human needs. And 10, opening and attending to mysterious dimensions of one's life and death, soul care for oneself and the one being cared for, allowing and being open-minded to miracles. The first three carative factors form the philosophical foundation for the science of caring, while the remaining seven are developed from that foundation. The theory of caring moves past the scientific practice of nursing to create an authentic relationship framework. By providing caring science with scientific care, human spirit and inner healing occur. In addition, by implementing this model of human caring principles, Nurses discover a more meaningful practice to make a more rewarding career and profession. In the words of Dr. Watson, any profession that loses its value becomes heartless. Any profession that becomes heartless becomes soulless. Any profession that becomes heartless and soulless becomes worthless. The goal in Dr. Watson's theory is to present the idea that compassion is part of the soul and that positive actions will stem from humanistic, altruistic values. The goal is also for nurses to be authentically present in their care of others and as such, working on developing a helping, trusting relationship that promotes support and offers the ability to embark on healing processes for mind, body, spirit, wholeness. There are, however, barriers that prevent the implementation of Dr. Watson's theory of human caring. The barriers that exist are influenced by technology, work environment, a nurse's background in education, and hospital-driven initiatives to meet insurance criteria. Do nurses have the time to implement caring theory when time spent at the bedside is cut drastically short? Is there enough diversity in the nursing staff to meet the population's needs and a patient's unique cultural and ethnic backgrounds? Can we meet their needs adequately? Insurance companies mandating the appropriate length of stay for patients often creates another barrier to human caring. Specific care interventions are centered on the most important aspects for the patient. These can include, but are not limited to, allowing quiet time for prayer or other religious activities, patient reflection activities to discuss life experiences and influences, and discussions centered on personal goals and expectations. 
Redesigning workflow takes conscious effort from a multidisciplinary approach. Examples include working with pharmacy to group medication times, partnering with assistive personnel to share the workload, and lowering nurse to patient ratios. Promoting growth in ourselves and others is important to the growth of the profession. Using Dr. Watson's Caritas Process 1, nurses provide so much care for others they tend to be absent-minded to their own needs and thus cannot attain true fulfillment in their lives or work without caring for themselves. Using the same Caritas of Dr. Watson's, it also holds true in modeling the profession for the future of nursing. Nurses can model the care techniques for novice nurses by using therapeutic touch, holistic assessments, and displaying an overall caring attitude that promotes health and healing. The nursing impact of Dr. Watson's theory of human caring resonates on multiple levels. Individually, the nurse grows and becomes aware of herself as his or her role in care delivery of a patient. The nurse is cognizant of the influences that make up the metaparadigium and directly influences his or her care to meet the needs of the patient. Additionally, Dr. Watson's Human Caring Theory advances nursing as a profession, using caring science as the anchor in our career mission and separate from the medical science that physicians use to diagnose and treat disease. Nurses concentrate on the health of the patient and their healing process, not their diagnosis, and thus enhancing their care experience. Parcels and Nelson speak to the care experience in being measurable by patient satisfaction scores. Why does this all matter? It matters for several reasons. It restores humanity through the use of heart, soul, purpose, and compassion. It generates human caring knowledge and puts it into practice. It allows for the development of trust within the metaparadigium and emphasizes care through a moral and philosophical approach. So why is this theory important to us? Iris says, working in a fast-paced, highly technical area of practice is that of surgical services. It becomes easy to be high-tech, not high-touch. As a nurse, it is important to remember to holistically care for the patients that we provide services. As outlined by the caring model, my joy of nursing is when I connect with others by being present, non-judgmental, and authentic. Jean Watson's theory of human care deeply resonates with the interactions and care I provide each day. Becky believes the science of human caring involves personal engagement. As a nurse, personal engagement is reflected in my attitude and the ability to see a patient from each aspect. Human caring extends beyond the bedside and incorporates the system in which the patient connects and the profound ability to care for their unique individual needs. Dr. Watson's human caring for me encompasses the ability to empower my patients and co-workers and to help build on their successes and not dwell in their shortcomings. And that fills my cup. Kelly believes, as nurses, we often encounter patients when they are at their most vulnerable. They rely on us to care for them and meet their needs, needs that they may be unable to fulfill themselves. For this reason, we must protect our patients' rights and advocate for the best possible care they can receive. It is imperative to be a compassionate provider and to remain empathetic to their unique needs. We need to let them know that they are valued, respected, and loved. I feel it is important to consider how I would want the patient to be treated if they were my child, spouse, parent, friend, and act accordingly. It is also vital to determine what the patient perceives their needs to be, as well as what the patient would consider the best possible outcome. Being non-judgmental during interactions and caring for the whole person, including providing not only physical but emotional and spiritual support, aids in their recovery. In this way, we can work collaboratively with them and or their families to improve their experience and achieve optimal outcomes. Courtney says, I think it is impossible to be an effective nurse without compassion. The principle of nursing care is just that, care. Jean Watson passionately explains that to care means you must first understand your inner self and go beyond your ego self. Caring for others is bigger than us. It's something that forms within us from our environment. If we choose not to consider others, relationships fail. As a nurse embraces and practices love and hope, trust will occur and patients will have faith and hope that the nurse cares for them. When I read about Jean Watson's theory, it gives me hope, it makes me feel good. I know I can relate to it, and that is how I know I am on the right track to being what a nurse is supposed to be. In the words of Dr. Jean Watson, caring is the essence of nursing. 
Maybe this one moment with this one person is the very reason we're here on earth at this time.